Go Triangle offers centralized information about the seven transit systems that provide service across the Triangle. Now let's walk through six simple steps on how to ride. Planning your trip. Before heading out the door, it's always best to do a little research. Simply visit us on gotriangle.org and using the trip planner on the left-hand side of the screen, enter the travel date, time of departure, start and end locations, then click submit. The trip planner will provide trip options including duration and fare. Once you have selected a schedule that works best for you, make sure to print or write it down before heading out the door. On the go, or perhaps in a location where talking on the phone isn't ideal, use Google Maps to plan your trip, but remember to click on the transit icon before selecting the Get Directions button. If you would prefer to speak to a customer service representative, call 919-485-RIDE with your location, destination, and time of day you wish to travel for a personalized schedule. Thanks for calling Get Triangle. How can I help you? When planning your trip over the phone, it is always best to call the day before or in advance to make your trip as smooth as possible. Route brochures can be picked up at a number of locations throughout the Triangle or visit gotriangle.org and click on the Maps and Schedules tab. Remember, if you do not live near a bus route, try one of the 20 free park and ride lots located throughout the region. Catching the bus. It's time to catch the bus. Arrive at your stop five to 10 minutes early. Make sure that you're on the correct side of the street so that you do not get on a bus headed away from your destination. While waiting, riders with a smartphone can go to live.gotriangle.org for real-time bus route information. For more convenient access, the Translook app can be downloaded from here. Once the app has been installed, click the system that you're interested in tracking and watch the buses move across your screen with information on next stops and estimated times of arrival. Don't have a smartphone? Simply text go live R, route number or name, S, stop code or name, to 41411. Standard text messaging rates apply. As the bus approaches, check the sign above the front window to make sure it's the route and destination you want. If so, signal the operator that you wish to board by exiting the shelter and approaching the bus. A waiver gesture is also helpful. Stand back from the curb and wait until the bus comes to a complete stop. Then get on at the front of the bus and pay your fare. If you will need assistance finding your stop, please sit near the front of the bus so that the bus operator can easily communicate with you. All buses are accessible with ramps and lifts. The buses can also kneel down or lower the steps to make it easier for passengers with limited mobility to board and exit. Most buses also have automated announcements to notify passengers waiting outside the bus of the route name and number. Personal assistants and service animals are also permitted to ride the bus. Most buses are also equipped with bike racks. If the bike racks are full, you'll need to wait for the next bus. Paying the fare. When boarding, make sure you have a valid pass, stored value card, or exact change. In order to pay with a stored value card, insert into the slot on the upper left-hand side of the fare box with the arrow pointing down. Day, monthly, and go passes should be swiped like a credit card through the fare card slot on the top right-hand side of the fare box. When paying with cash, feed flat, unfolded bills into the bill slot, just like you would when using a vending machine. If you need a day pass or a transfer, tell the bus operator as you enter and pay. Your day pass or transfer will be automatically dispensed if you requested one. If you are eligible for a reduced fare, remember that it is important to show your discount ID and discount pass to the bus operator when boarding. Reduced fares are available for the disabled, elderly, students, children, and through certain employers. Children 12 and under and seniors 65 and up always ride free. Common courtesies. Find an empty seat if one is available and store your belongings out of the aisle. To ensure that everyone has an enjoyable experience, please follow these simple rules and tips. Keep your voice at a minimum volume when speaking on your cell phone. Save front seats for older adults or persons with disabilities. Do not smoke, chew tobacco, eat, or drink on the bus. Soliciting and littering are prohibited. Use headphones when listening to music and keep the volume at a level only you can hear. Yelling or using profanity is prohibited. Do 
not distract the bus operator. Drugs, alcohol, flammable, explosive materials, and weapons are prohibited. When traveling with children, please allow for extra time. If using a stroller, please use the wheelchair accessible lift to enter and exit the bus or request assistance. If you are comfortable with your child riding the bus unattended, encourage them to sit near the front. Make sure they have the addresses they are traveling from and to and contact information for a parent or legal guardian. Safe Travels Here are a few ways riders can do their part to stay safe. It is safe to stand on the bus when there are no seats available, but please hold on to a railing in case of sudden starts or stops. Do not stand in front of the yellow line on the floor of the bus, next to the bus operator, or in the side doorway. Familiarize yourself with all exits, including emergency windows and exit hatches. Never lean on the doors. If you spot an unattended or suspicious package, tell a bus operator right away or call 911. Getting off the bus. Major stops will be announced, but remember you can only get off at bus stops that are served by your bus system. Watch for landmarks to know when your stop is near. If you're not familiar with the area, sit near the front and have the bus operator call out your destination. About a block before your stop, Push the black or yellow plastic strip or pull the cord above your head stop requested. to request the next stop. After the bus comes to a complete stop, gather all personal items and exit through the rear door. When passing between buses to transfer or crossing the street, be sure to look both ways. Never walk in front of the bus. Wait until it is pulled away from the curb before crossing the street. Use a marked crosswalk when available and always cross with the traffic light. I love riding these buses because I get around a lot more places and it's cheaper than driving in the car and I also get a chance to meet a lot of really cool people while I'm here. So. It's real good service. It gets me from Raleigh to Durham like I need to, man. from Raleigh to Chapel Hill basically. All the direction that it goes. Uh, I also use data and cat services. With Go Triangle, your trip starts here.